Hey y'all, welcome back to Giselle Budgets. I am so excited to be here with you sharing my journey to financial freedom. If this is your first time watching, I'm Giselle and my mission is to help you manage your money, build wealth, and still live your best life. To everyone who has been rocking with me, my returning subscribers, I have missed you guys. But it's a new year and I've set some ambitious goals for 2025. In today's video, we're diving into how I'm building a three month emergency fund, my plan to pay off $3,425 in credit card debt, and how I'm increasing my Roth IRA contributions. So whether you're starting your budgeting journey or looking for some motivation to keep going, grab a pen, a notebook, and let's do this together. So first up is my three month emergency fund, and I'm aiming to save $5,400, which is about three months of my essential expenses. Now, why is this important? Because life happens, y'all. Unexpected car repairs, medical bills, or even job changes can knock us off track. And a solid emergency fund keeps those moments from turning into financial disasters. So here's my game plan. I'm setting aside $450 a month, which will get me to my goal in 12 months. And I've automated my savings, so I'm not tempted to spend it. Out of sight, out of mind. And I'm cutting out unnecessary expenses because those $20 impulse buys add up fast. Next is tackling my credit card debt. I owe $3,425 and I am done letting interest eat up my money. My plan is to use the avalanche method, which means I'll focus on the card with the highest interest first while making minimum payments on the others. Now, why the avalanche method? Because for me, it saves money in the long run by reducing how much money I pay in interest. Plus, knocking out those high interest debts feels like a win. I'm also using reminders and tracking my progress to stay on top of it. Now, let's talk about building wealth. I currently contribute about $100 a month to my Roth IRA, but my 2025 goal is to max it out at $6,500. That breaks down to about $542 a month. And here's how I'm tackling it. For now, I'll increase my contributions to $200 a month to get the ball rolling. Every quarter, I'll review my budget to find more ways to cut back and redirect that money toward my Roth IRA. And I'm also committing any extra money like side hustles directly into the account. Investing isn't just about me. It's about building generational wealth because the earlier we start, the more time that money has to grow. Now, I'm not gonna sit here and act like this is easy. Saving and paying off debt takes discipline, consistency, and sometimes sacrifices. There will be setbacks, unexpected expenses, and moments when I feel like giving up. But remember, progress is what matters, not perfection. Even if all you can save is $10 or pay an extra $15 towards debt, that's a step forward. Celebrate those wins because they build momentum. And don't compare your journey to anyone else's. This is your race. Now it's your turn. What are your financial goals for 2025? Drop them in the comments below. I would love to cheer you on. And if you found this video helpful, do me a favor. Hit that like button to support the channel. Share this video with someone who's also on their budgeting journey. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any future uploads. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Remember, stay consistent, stay intentional, and let's make 2025 the year we thrive financially. Bye.